The third question is, uh, what are the important uh, qualities to become a successful entrepreneur? Um, I think there is no clear recipe because there are so many different types of, of personalities can be can be successful in business. One of the favorite cases of the recent age is like Steve Jobs. Everyone talks about him. He was a very difficult person. It was very difficult to work for him or with him. Um, he was very aggressive, very focused, very, very, very straightforward and very, very demanding. So this is one type of leadership, of course. But there are many different types of people, different personalities can be successful in their own way. Um, but normally there are some characteristics or some, some common points explains why somebody can be, can be successful in business. Uh, first of all, and especially entrepreneurs, should be open-minded. Find the new opportunities, be very flexible, have, be able to, to have the input from others, not just like follow my way, and that's the only one, because it's very risky. So that's what normally we, we tell in entrepreneurship, we have to absorb the, the different inputs, what we have from the colleagues, from the clients, even from the, from the competitors, and do something better than, than the competitors. Okay. Um, second of all, um, entrepreneurs should be influential, because uh, when you have the idea in the very beginning and you don't have, probably just have the idea, even, even nothing tangible, you know, financials, only your financials, or the friends and family's financial, you continuously have to talk to people, convince them to join you, to trust you, and trust in your vision, be able to tell them, okay, this is what I did before, this is what I am, this is what I would like to do, this is how we will make the changes together. For this, you have to be influential. You have to have some kind of credibility. You have to be able to tell that, okay, this is my vision, and we will do that. And it comes, okay, with time, it comes easier. With a certain age, with a certain experience, it comes easier. First time, obviously, it's very difficult, right? Just imagine you are like 20 years old, first time you want to do a business and you think that you will change the world, which is the role of a 20 years old, right? Then how to start? You have to talk to people. You have to, you have to be able to protect yourself and in your idea against others because others will tell you that, well, better to go to a big company, work with a bank because it's safe, it's fine, you will have a salary, right? So you have to have the courage and you have to be able to, to explain to people you want to do things on your own. And if you can do, you are already, or you can be considered as income.